guys it is so nice to be back so we've kind of been having little bits of break here here and there um, I have had a little bit more work than anticipated this month so I'm sorry about that but we will just keep sort of plodding through the videos probably till the end of December so um, this again is another one I recorded last month um, to try and get through the videos uh, each day but it's still kind of taken me about an hour to upload and finish them off and everything anyway um, Let's see, so um, today we are doing kind of an out of focus Christmas tree. So I really love the, the bokeh photography, which is the kind of out of focus and it's the circles overlapping each other. Um, and so I wanted to kind of take that and translate that into a painting. And um, yeah, so that is what we're going to be kind of working on today. Um, and I do have a couple of other like little announcements and things so I will leave those until the end but I wanted to just uh, give you a little bit more detail about what we're going to be doing today. So as you saw the first thing I did was wet the entire page of the sketchbook and um, now I'm just dropping in color I'm kind of speckling it across the page here so if you have a circle stencil you, or you could maybe make one if you have like a one inch hole punch or something like that but um, I just decided to do it like this and I get a lot of questions about my process and where I come up with ideas or how I develop ideas and this is one of the ways so you start with an idea and or you know a piece of inspiration which would be the these beautiful out of focus photos and then you kind of try and translate that into how do I want to um, show that and you know what ways that I could create a piece of art around that so um, for this this um, I just thought this would be a nice way to kind of have a little play in our sketchbooks it's a very um, low key um, you know it's a this is a stressful month so this just I just wanted a couple of really simple um, and easy kind of nice ways to uh, fill up a page and to practice a few different things so you know one you can see here again that I have let the first layer dry and now I am wetting the entire page again and we're going to add in some more color so um, you know one of the nice things about this as an exercise and as a, a process is that you can you're kind of starting to see how these colors move on the page move in the water and I've talked about this before but you know there's so much value in becoming familiar with whatever you're trying to create so um, we talked about that with the emblems but it's also true with just your watercolors becoming familiar with your colors becoming familiar with how they layer how they interact with each other how they interact with the water and um and you can see like like different things like I'm I'm dropping in more color if I think that the color is dispersing too much and sort of becoming too light then I'll add some more color in I'm also cleaning off my brush and kind of softening around the edges of some of the color sometimes to kind of create um, so if it's sort of going places I don't want I can kind of move that and clean it so it's a really nice way to kind of start to just learn about um, your colors and things and then again I really you know because this is just the initial kind of concept so I'm not really sure you know how to do this yet I mean that's one of the things that you learn as you go through and sort of work on a concept you can see here as well I'm using the long handle brush this is the Raphael um, fresco and I think it's the pointed filbert so I really like this one I think some like some companies call them cat's tongue but um, they're also called pointed fill but so it's it's flat on the thin and flat on the side and then it comes to a point at the wider um, portion which I really like I, it's quite a dainty brush um, but it has this nice long handle so you can still get kind of loose brush strokes um, but yeah so I again I just keep um, adding in different colors and then really I'm just trying different things at this point so um, this is just one of those really nice low-key um, painting sessions like I said 
and yeah we're kind of creating that feeling when a room is dark but um, the Christmas trees lighting it up and the twinkle lights and um, the anticipation of Christmas and it's all really beautiful and exciting um, so I am just going to let you watch this and then I will see you guys in a minute so you can see here that I am not um, I am not wetting the entire page because the Christmas tree part is still wet so but I'm just wetting around the um, page it was still a little bit wet but I just want to I want it to be freshly wet so I can saturate it with paint and then I'm going in with like a yellow around the um, Christmas tree for that glow of the lights and then I just go in with some darker colors um, for the you know to create the dark and I th I'm using more um, so I think I used like Kaput Mortuum or Raw Umber Violet something like that like a, um, a dark brown mixed with a little bit of purple to create or you could mix you know a dark brown with a little bit of a pink or a little bit of a red I think actually I think that's Potter's Pink I started with and but you know again like this is just a really fun exercise to experiment and to try different colors so you know just try everything um, you know you can try colors that you have decorated your Christmas tree with um, colors that you've seen a tree with um, so I've really been loving um, seeing the Christmas tree inspiration and I really I always love Selena Lake um, her Christmas trees so I will I think um, it's on Instagram but I'll see if I can leave a link somewhere below she always does really beautiful um, really happy Christmas trees and let's see yeah we will do a little um, tree kind of inspired by the anthropology one I keep getting like the anthropology one come up on Instagram so we will do a little tree inspired by that and um, yeah just colors that make you feel like you know if you want blues then do blues or um, you know you could try like an indigo for the background instead of these kind of more violet earth colors um, yeah <music> so just before we go um, a couple of things the Matryoshkas should be ready maybe tomorrow in my shop we'll see maybe yeah probably tomorrow and um, also Chic Sparrow is having like a 50% off um, overstock sale so which there's some really good deals on there you can get the little nanos for $16 and 
um, I did get a B6 March hair so I will show that I was gonna put some footage in here but I think it will take too long so I will um, I'll show that soon but yeah I just wanted to give you a heads up and I will see you guys soon bye